<laughs> okay. Let's go to the next talk. Uh, it's uh, done by us, <laughs> Andreas and, and me. Uh, we are uh, from the sketchometry team. And uh, in the last conferences, uh, we presented sketchometry uh, in different ways. Uh, we showed uh, what's, what is sketchometry. It's a software for schools. It's a user interface which uses JSX graph. And uh, uh, when Alfred has new features from JSX graph, we can implement these features in uh, sketchometry as well. And today we want to share some news about uh, sketchometry. And uh, at the beginning, uh, we prepared a video how it is useful to learn with the finger and how sketchometry uses these advantages when you use tablets at school at uh, mass lessons. And in the second part, Andreas will give a live demo how new elements from JSX graph can be implemented into sketchometry so that uh, this process uh, is uh, the development of, of a process of JSX graph is parallel to the development process of sketchometry. So I will share my screen and we will start with a short video. When we started the development of sketchometry more than 10 years ago, it was mainly influenced by new hardware possibilities. We could use touch screen. And so the idea came up to use the finger to realize construction. Just sketching with the finger is an important and very impressive tool. You can uh, draw basic objects like circles, line, segments, or triangles. You sketch them with your finger and afterwards sketchometry converts these objects into exact ones. And with these exact objects, you can uh, experiment, you can uh, explore constructions, you can do geometry. So this idea of using geometry uh, by sketching with the finger, of course, it's not, not new. Uh, in antiquity, for example, people used the finger to do constructions. But of course, in those times, they hadn't any pencils, rulers, or even paper. These tools doesn't exist. So they used their finger and uh, sketched constructions or ideas in the sand. Of course, these constructions weren't very precise, but uh, it was a possible tool to visualize ideas. All day long, we use our fingers to show something important, to point out something, to add, to subtract, to visualize small numbers. We count one, two, three, four, uh, by using the finger and even small children use their finger to show something. They are able to, to use the finger to show here's the dog, here's the cat. Uh, they aren't able to speak. They aren't able to use the language. Neurologists found a strong connection between the index finger and the brain. And so it is important to use the finger. In several studies, Australian scientists from the University of Sydney showed that finger tracing objects is important for learning. In one group, uh, they uh, had to solve exercises, tasks in a traditional way. And in the other group, uh, the students were asked to solve the tasks by finger tracing important objects, for example, pointing out uh, a segment or a circle uh, in an illustration by finger tracing the circle by finger tracing a line or the segment. And the group around Paul Chintz had interesting findings. 
Our findings have a range of implications for teachers and students alike. They show mass learning by young students may be enhanced substantially with the simple addition of instructions to finger trace elements of math problems. So using the finger arouses attention and we have a higher processing priority in the brain. And in addition, more brain regions are activated compared to simple visual perception. This simple zero cost teaching approach can enhance the effectiveness of mathematics instruction across multiple areas of the subject. And of course, we also have historical examples. Maria Montessori used letters made of sandpaper for the primary class students, and they should trace these letters to learn the shape of these letters. In those times, there were no studies. Maria Montessori used a more intuitive way, but this method works. And now let's have a look at sketchometry. We use these fine motoric movements by drawing the circle, by drawing a triangle or by drawing a line uh, in comparison to other software, uh, which uses, for example, clicks to generate these objects. We also have additional tools like the midpoint, the perpendicular line, and in these tools in these gestures we use here, for example, the perpendicular line here, we have this L gesture and this L gesture uh, contains the most important characteristics of a perpendicular line, the right angle. So our philosophy behind these gestures is close to the object. Let's have a look at the angular bisector, for example. We mark the first leg, then we sketch the position of the angular bisector, and we go back to the second leg and we mark the second leg. And this is the gesture for the angular bisector. Let's have a look at a parallel line. We mark the position of the parallel line and then we go back to the original line and mark this original line. The gesture indicates both the original line and the parallel line. So this is the concept behind sketchometry. We use the finger to get in contact with the objects by sketching them or using these gestures with the philosophy close to the object. So thank you, Carsten. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm the main developer of Sketchometry. And last year, we released a completely new version of our software. My colleague Carsten has already explained with this video the, the concept behind Sketchometry. And I will say something about the technical uh, problems or process uh, of sketch sketchometry. Sketchometry is based on JSX graph. We use many features of JSX graph, especially uh, that were added within the last year in our software Sketchometry. Some of these features are even is inspired by Sketchometry. Let me show you some examples. I will share my screen again. Probably the biggest feature of uh, the new feature in Sketchometry uh, and JSX graph within the last year is the object measurement. We announced this feature last year and now we can measure almost any object in Sketchometry. Let's draw some objects, for example, a circle and a triangle. And then I will select the measure tool and I can click uh, on the circle, so I get the circumference of the circle, and I can click on the uh, triangle, so I get the area of the triangle. For example, I can uh, click on this edge of the polygon, so I get the length of the, of the segment CE. 
And so I can measure some, some objects. And uh, of course, these uh, measurements adapt to the current values of our objects. Um, the old sketch geometry could do this too. Uh, what's new here is the layout, uh, layout and the behavior of these measurements. Uh, they have improved uh, much uh, and did a big step. So this is both possible only by the new uh, measurement object in JSX graph. If you can, if you click on an object, you get a certain uh, parameter of the object measured. So for circles, this is the circumference. For um, triangles or polygons, you get the area. If you want to measure something else, you can select a measurement uh, tool and click and hold on an object for three seconds. And then you get a list uh, which uh, parameter you want to measure. For example, the perimeter of this uh, triangle, and then I get the, the perimeter of the triangle. Um, even for circles, uh, you can um, measure some more things. Uh, you can select what you want. So uh, for example, the area, and I get the area. There is also another feature. You can combine measurements by various operations or calculations. You can find them here. There's sum, difference, product, and ratio. Um, I think most important is sum. For example, let's draw some angles in our um, triangle. And now I can select the um, sum tool and summarize my angle values and just click in a, in a free point in a free area of the board and I get um, the whole measurement. So we can see um, if you add alpha, beta and gamma, you get 180 degrees. And students can now um, drag this triangle and see it's always 180 degrees. So um, that's a, a very important thing. Um, the measurements can be adapted by several attributes. For example, I can say I want, don't want to have the term alpha plus beta plus gamma. So I can go here and disable term names. So the term is away. And now I see Karsten doesn't have uh, the newest version of sketchometry, just reload. No, it's not the newest version, Karsten. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I have to do a private tab. Now I have to do some measurements again, but we have enough time. <laughs> yes, now, now you can see uh, the properties and um, I can adapt, for example, for um, for this measurement, the area of the triangle, I can go here and can and say, I want to have unit centimeters. Okay, it's in German again. Oh, sorry. Now, you can say, uh, I want to have the unit centimeters, so it will add centimeters. Um, you can do anything else uh, for the other measurement. You can say, I want to have more digits. So there are more digits. This just new features just added, <laughs> I think uh, a week before. Um, yes, that's the uh, possibilities in sketchometry we owe to JSX graph by the new measurement object. And I've got an example for you how to do this in JSX graph, just here. It's a very small code. You can um, create an object of type measurement. Then you uh, define where the measurement has to be. In our case, this is uh, these are the coordinates. And then I uh, say, I want to have the area of the polygon P. So I get this uh, measurement right here. And then I can do some additional attributes. For example, uh, I have a prefix area and the base unit centimeters. The same for perimeter, I have the same. And you can see 
the base unit is given uh, only in dimension one. So um, if the uh, measurement is from dimension two, for example, it's added the, the exponent two in, in the uh, um, units. You can also define um, for each uh, dimension an own uh, unit. So it's completely free uh, what you have to, uh, what you want to show there. In sketchometry, we essentially, uh, essentially just added a few styles to this measurements, to this, in process, it's, it's a text. Uh, we, add, we added some um, styles and combined it with our gesture concept. And in addition to these um, measurements, we have a few other um, features where sketchometry had influence to chase XGraph within the last year. Uh, for example, there is a new object tongue and two in chase XGraph. With this object, you can have an uncircle, for example, and a point uh, outside of the circle. And you can say, I want to have tongue and two uh, circle point. And then I get the tongue and through this point on the circle. For example, for of course there are two possibilities in this case. So I when uh, I can add, uh, can change the zero to one, then I get the other uh, possibility, um, and this works of course for uh, for each point. If I go inside the circle, there is no tangent, so the tangent is hidden. Um, this is. Uh, already integrated in sketchometry. So for example, I can have a point here, uh, wrong uh, version. I have to search for the version. So for example, you can create another point and do the tangent, the T gesture, and then you get this, this tangent. In our case, for sketchometry, we added the intersection point to, to visualize the, the touching point of, of this uh, construction. But this version um, does this by its own. And uh, you can do, of course, the other tangent too. It decides by itself which tangent is drawn. So now I have to switch again. I think this one, yes. Um, another uh, new feature is the, the grid element. The grid element in JSX graph has been very old, but very outdated. So we revived this feature and uh, added some attributes to customize the grid even more. So you have, for example, this uh, customized grid with major ticks and minor ticks. You can do some, some settings here. I don't mention every setting. There are a lot of uh, settings, but you can also uh, go here and say, uh, I don't want this, this all, uh, just give me theme four. Then I get theme four. We have some predefined themes, for example, theme, theme three and so on. I can choose one theme uh, and have not, lot, not a lot of work to design the grid, but I could design the grid. This feature doesn't uh, is not included in sketchometry yet, but it will come in the next versions uh, to sketchometry. In JSX graph, it is already included. Um, also, the axes have been updated. I don't know if you realize that. You can add a position attribute to an axis for uh, the attribute sticky. And um, then if you navigate the axis will stick on the right, left, top or bottom side of the board. Uh, you can define some distance here. Um, uh, you can define if it sticks only at the left side or the right side. So we have uh, a lot of um, combinations to do here, um, but it, I think it's very helpful um, for navigating in boards and having an, an coordinate system uh, always in visual space. And of course, there are a lot of minor changes uh, by sketchometry uh, brought into, into JSX graph. I, I don't want to mention everything. Um, just a little hint, uh, there's the 
parallelogram object you can see here so you can drag some points and you see it's always the the parallelogram this uh, has already uh, been included in sketchometry and of course all these features all the new features of jsx graph and all the attributes you can um, do are documented in this API. So you can uh, always consult the API if you don't know how to program something. For example, the grid, we can show, have a look at the grid. There are a lot of examples how you can design the grid. There are the themes uh, how you can design the grid. Um, so you can do some, some fancy stuff with, with the grid or even uh, something uh, more uh, Descent things. Yes, as always, you can. Uh, we don't implement every feature of JSX graph into sketchometry, because uh, sketchometry uh, is to use in school. So we have always. Uh, so we are always thinking of the practice in school, and we don't implement every fun function in sketchometry. Sketchometry 2 is at the moment available in eight languages. So I have to switch again to Sketchometry. You can see here, this um, eight languages we have at the moment, but we want to have more languages, of course. Um, we would like to use this conference to ask you if you want to participate in the translation of Sketchometry. We use a small website for this. I will show you. It's translate.sketchometry.org. Uh, I think Alfred will post it into the, into the chat. So you see uh, how far uh, Sketchometry is translated yet. Um, there are some languages uh, just in progress. Um, but if you want to add another language, just click on the right top corner on contact and send me a message. I would be very lucky if you uh, want to participate as a translator for an additional language. Thank you very much for your attention and now feel free to ask questions about sketchometry.